Fight Contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the TNA X Division Championship of the World. Introducing, first of all, proudly representing his home of the United Kingdom, weighing in at 238 pounds. He is the challenger, Douglas Williams. Douglas Williams, Rick Flair, decided to invoke their contractually obligated return match clause on TNA's biggest event of the year. Can Williams bring the title back to Flair and Fortune tonight? And now, introducing his opponent from Elizabeth, New Jersey. He is the TNA X Division Champion of the World, Jay Lethal. Oh, the recent run of success for Jay Lethal. Saw him win the X Division title from Douglas Williams. Then recently regained it by beating Amazing Red at a TNA Live event in New Jersey, the home state of Jay Lethal. Yeah, and I know Jay Lethal was extremely proud of winning the exhibition title in Jersey. As you said, his home state, it's a great moment for this young man. He might be living a dream, but by the end of this night, he might be living a nightmare because I, guess, I think Doug Williams got a really good chance to capture that title again right there, the X Division gold. He's focused, man. Williams is focused. Flair has got, and Fortune have Williams extremely motivated, and they want more gold. They want some gold over there in Fortune's, you know, house state, and they, they need more gold. Gold brings power. Flair wants that power. Taz, let's talk strategy for this X Division Championship match. One would anticipate that Williams is going to play to his strengths, that sound, that mat-based offense. Yeah, I definitely think that's got to be the game plan for Douglas Williams. That catches catch can style, and he's a grappler's grappler. He's a wrestler's wrestler. That's what Doug is. And just you got to keep Jay Lethal grounded. He takes a lot of chances, does Lethal. And Williams, being a very cerebral type wrestler, hopefully can have uh, Jay Lethal make a mistake and capitalize on it. At the same time that that Williams is going to stay ground based. You would anticipate that Jay Lethal's gonna try and fly. So it's that low risk ground attack of Williams versus the high risk offensive style of the reigning X Division champion, Jay Lethal. Two on one, uh, wrist lock right there by, oh, it was by Douglas Williams. Nice deep arm, dra arm drag, controlling the wing, the arm of Douglas Williams. And, uh, you know, Jay Lethal, he's got some skills on the mat too. Well, he can go, he can wrestle, but I don't know if you want to trade holds with Douglas Williams. I don't think that would be a good strategy. And Douglas Williams has his supporters here in the crowd at the Ocean Center in Daytona Beach, Florida. And we saw an awful lot of people at fan interaction yesterday that made that ooh, the long trip from the UK. Well, that short clothesline by Williams right across the esophagus region of Jay Lethal. Right early going to this match, the uh, X Division champion now kind of in harm's way. Douglas Williams, so proud of his, his new ring gear, pointed out to me that his, his new tights, well, he's sporting the Williams family crest on the side of his tights. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's always good to be proud of you. Got a little family crest, you wear it on your tights. I never was into crest. It wasn't my thing. I'm not big in Brooklyn. Anyway, Jay Lethal going for German stand to switch by Douglas Williams. Maybe going for that roll of chaos. Nobody there, though. Oh, what? Oh, right. Lethal combination by Jay Lethal and a lot Williams. Of impact there, man. Yeah, Williams, fortunately for him, the momentum of that, that lethal combination move, he goes out to the arena floor. Whoa, 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 that prevents lethal Lethal's not done. Pin, but he's gonna fly like we talked about, slingshot cross body. That well, lethal combination, you could kind of see it look like Williams' neck kind of really took a nasty whiplash-like motion. So, uh, man, that might have been the opening that Jay Lethal needed. Obviously, this is because Williams is hurt. Yeah, look how slow Williams, the challenger, is to recover. Well, that springboard. Oh, wow. Might Missed. have been playing possum right there. Well, they got possums in England. Look at that. Knee drop, quick cover. And for months, Douglas Williams has been so outspoken when it comes to the X Division, how anti-high flyer, high risk 
wrestler that Douglas Williams has been. He says there's really only one way to prove yourself as a competitor, and that's to show that well, pretty sound yeah. mat-based game that he employs. Well, that's Douglas Williams. He's the, he's the prototypical European wrestler. He's kind of has that old-school style where he believes in that. You know, no reason to leave your feet if you don't have to. Wow. And that is effective for Douglas Williams. We might watch grab this, a new this. Off the clothesline. Here we go. You see how tight right there. Stacking the shoulders of Lethal was Williams trying to get the win and controlling the man's head right now. That's you can control the man's head, you control his body, and that's a great way to ground a high flyer like a Jay Lethal. No better way to control the head than with that reverse chin lock. Lethal strategy at this point. Get back up, vertical base, back to his feet. Stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Williams and then turn loose the offense. At the same time, Williams yeah. is going to try and keep well, him grounded. There's no quitting Jay Lethal. He's going to keep bringing the fight. You know that. Look at Williams quick to follow up with a knee to the gut. Counted out. Does Lethal. Yeah, but Williams saw him immediately. Cut him with the knee. Cut him off, and then Lethal well, has an answer with a back body yeah, drop. I, well, I thought that back body drop, I thought Lethal was kind of going for a Northern Light suplex. But that's a move you can do when someone grabs a front face lock on you. Jay Lethal trying to get fired up here a little bit and shift this thing into a second gear. Those right overhand rights are bringing it out. Yeah, for Lethal to succeed, that's exactly what he's going to oh, need to do. Wow. You started off with a move like that and a follow up running clothesline. Look at that. And third, the drop kick. Boom! So quick. Move after move after move. The impact. The velocity of these moves. The crispness as he comes springing off the ball. Right into the cross body. Pin, two, whoa. Hey, Lethal has amazing balance. The springboard, the way he does, how quick he drop kicks from a vertical base. The extension he gets in the middle of his body to explode into his opponent. Well, he don't want Williams behind him because he could definitely do some sort of a throw like that, right there. Right on the back of his head. Yeah, you saw that coming. Well, I saw it coming. New That's what I would have done. <laughs> here's one. Here's two. That's great strategy. Sure, yeah, Williams did not get the pin, but he definitely, definitely weakened the champion. That was a lot of impact on that German suplex. And he, out of all people, my broadcast partner, he appreciates that move. Well, the reason why there was so much impact was because how high Williams grabbed Lethal around his waist. And that snap suplex there. Awesome shades of another great European wrestler, the Dynamite Kid right there, the way Williams did that uh, snap suplex. But that German suplex, that release, he really, Williams really grabbed Lethal high, right right, uh, right around his hips. And the higher you can get, grab your opponent, the more impact will land on the back of his neck and his spine when you do the throw. And it has been, from that point in time, the challenger totally in control. He has set up for the gut wrench. Lethal fights it off. Well, for his own German. Williams connects with the boot. Look at that exploder right there. An exploder suplex. Series of suplexes. Another pin attempt. And oh, so close. Douglas Williams has really been prepared for Jay Lethal. In an attempt to bring the X Division title belt back to Ric Flair and Fortune, Williams has had a perfectly executed game plan. The series of suplexes has the champion in danger. Oh, yeah, right now, Williams. Going to go rolling, rolling chaos. chaos here. He's going to nail it, Mike. Got, oh, got it, got it. Stack him up. They got him. Two. The champ. Oh, man, that was close. Wow, not many kick out of that. Love that move. Love that move. I don't blame Doug Williams for being frustrated. He's hot and he should be, but that looked like it might have been three. But rather than argue with referee Earl oh, Hebner, yeah, yeah. he should be concentrating on the task at hand, winning the X Division title from Jay Lethal, who's in trouble at this point. Well, you are correct, because that, that delay right there, George Jackman with the ref, you know, I mean, Jay Lethal has a little time maybe to recoup, but Jay Lethal does not look too good right now. This is uh, un kind of uncharacteristic of Williams to wait so long in between his transitions of moves. 
There's this point in the match where you know you kind of have the guy beat, and it's for the X Division whoa, whoa, whoa. title. Look at this. What the hell's he doing here? What's you don't see Williams usually go high risk. Wow! Snaps it up. Oh, gets rolled through, and he got beat. Lethal keeps the ball. Right there, Douglas Williams. I gotta be frank with you. He didn't think too well right there. He kind of went to a different type of style. But high flying deal there. Look at this. Do you think it was because he was frustrated that all the suplexes gained him nothing but near falls? Could be. Definitely could be. The, the runner didn't help because excellent counter by Jay Lethal, who return, retains the X Division gold. Excellent matchup, though. I, mean, I really think Doug, Doug had a great opportunity if he was able to nail one or two more of those suplexes to get a victory or hit a submission. Boy, I got to agree. I thought Douglas Williams had such a sound strategy. All the, the combination of suplexes, and this is perfect. This Jay Lethal, yeah, among the people, his opportunity to celebrate. Williams changes up his game plan. Goes for the high risk move, and it comes back to haunt him. Uh, what's he got a hot dog like this for? Why's he do this? Maybe. Hot dog. Is that a hot dog in a little bit? It's bound for glory. Yeah, I mean, Come on, enjoy yourself, Taz. I am enjoying Loosen myself. Loosen up. I'm very loose. Yeah. But I'm just saying, man, you know, you know, you got to put it in the guy's face. You want the match? Gotta hang out in the audience here. Why not? Celebrate with the TNA fans. All right. Making me feel like I'm a crab ass out here. I'm just saying that. Really? <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, You've never been called out, huh? Right. You got a hot dog. That's, that's quite a stretch. You win the match. Oh, who's the, what the hell? And it's, and it's oh, a that's such a shore crew, isn't it? That's Robbie and... That's Robbie and Cookie. Cookie right? yeah. Robbie and Ian Cookie. Not Nookie, Cookie. No. But, but, look at what the... Robbie with those white loafers getting all over Jay Lethal here. And look at... Cookie holding the X-Men title? Wow, well, I should say Jay Lethal's X Division title. Yeah, we saw the Shore debut this past Thursday. Wow. Oh, Pat. Well, Robbie G, he's not just some pies out from Jersey, huh? They came out, they introduced yeah. themselves. He can get it done in there. On our live broadcast. He's got some skills, man. He's got the fist pump going. Robbie E. Cookie says, do it. Oh, <laughs> Robbie's showing he's got some physical skills here. Not one hair out of place either. Pies out when you're looking good. Look at him. A lot of sculpture motion in that head, you know. Lethal, bro! You're a disgrace to New Jersey, my dude! It's in Jersey already, technically. I'm bleeding it out. True. And I'm going to add some class to it. Just like Robbie E. and Cookie. Jersey's in the house, bitches. What a nice girl, huh? <laughs> what a nice girl. All you class. love this, don't you? I like it. Robbie oh, E. Talk about, Cookie. Talk about leaving your mark. On the X Division champ, the shore has arrived.